What is up, credits? Welcome back to the Bottom Dollar Bounties DLC update. So in this video, we're continuing customizing the Day 1 DLC cars. So the last two videos, we customized the Paragon S and the Envisage. This one, we're going to be customizing the brand new Overmach Nile B. So just under 1.9 million, basically a $2 million car. I mean, a few upgrades and you're already there. I'm going to in the Sports class. Very, very interesting. So here it is. I mean, very, very very good looking car so you love it I'm sure most of you already know what it's based on but let's go ahead and mention it here it's primarily based on the BMW i8 I mean it's quite obvious it's it's almost identical this thing is very very similar I'm fairly confident this is probably just a GTA 6 car that's copied and pasted over as with most of the DLC cars these days um, now this one's kind of interesting because we already had the Ubermach SC1 in game, which was the BMW M1 homage concept um, mixed with the uh, i8. So I guess this is more like a dedicated i8, and the SC1 was a removed website car with the Mercenaries update, so this one is, um, I guess, just the better SC1, uh, what it should have been. Um, but alright, let's go ahead and hop in here. We're going to take it to the LS car meet and customize it there. Uh, because this car does offer HSW. Alright, here we are in the LS car meet. So, mod vehicle. The startup sounds pretty cool too. It's got like a chime it does. Listen to this. That's pretty cool. Alright, mod vehicle. Let's see how much the HSW upgrade is. Oh, 1.8 million dollars. On top of the almost 1.9 million dollar price tag, wow, that's expensive. It's over three and a half million dollars. That's ridiculous. Well, is what it is. All right, arch covers. So basically, like a subtle wide body. Now, th this car. One of the things I noticed: the front wheel fitment's pretty good, but look at the back. It's like tucked in. It's just weird. And that's stock. And even if you put custom wheels, it still stays the same, which is really annoying. Um, so, yeah. Uh, this makes it worse. <laughs> the subtle wide body, it just accents it even more. It just... I, I think you're better off not putting this option just because of that wheel fitment. You want to make that not more pronounced, you know? It defeats the purpose so it's a shame it doesn't fix the wheel fitment you know the wheels don't come out with it like other games but it just is what it is rockstar doesn't do that for some reason unless it's like a separate you know wide body benny's version but anyway um armor hsw brakes bumpers so you have extended trim which is like a lip a little front splitter there carbon winged the carbon performance which adds a a line in the grill there like a split in the bottom grill okay and you have a splitter with the canards canards uh, I should say with the reinforcements oh it also vents this area too completely interesting with race intakes I do like the carbon winged trim we'll do that rear bumpers so you got the primary oh wow you can get rid of all the black contrast if you don't like that hmm I mean, I feel like that's what kind of makes it look like an i8. You know, like right away, you know, it's an i8. This just looks kind of weird. Oh, you can do that carbon. Interesting. Hmm. Diffuser. Oh, you can add little diffusers to the edge. Oh, diffuser bridge. Hmm. That's pretty cool. All right. I think I'll do a diffuser bridge. I kind of want to keep the... Well, that's interesting. If you want the carbon, <laughs> but you want the diffuser, you can't have it. <laughs> Why does Rockstar do that? Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my gosh. Typical. The bridge looks a little weird in the middle of that little dip. I kind of like the... Let's just do the regular diffusers. Um, engine HSW tune. This is a hybrid, so the engine does make sense. In real life, it's a three-cylinder 1.5 liter um hybrid with the electric motors and stuff but exhaust oh look at the real one the exhaust is hidden down there oh here you can actually make it visible if you want okay huh the triple exhaust kind of reminds me of the uh the civic what's it called the um the type r 
Um, hmm. I feel like... I don't know, it just feels weird to put that exhaust there, but they are pretty subtle if you choose one of these, which I don't mind. I feel like the twin sharpened board looks pretty good. Nice and subtle. I like that. Grill. So you got primary. So right now it's secondary trim. You can do primary, carbon, and you can do the different graded grills, which I, I don't really like on this car. I think it just looks weird. Kind of hard to tell with a forced black there. There you go. You can tell better in this lighting. Yeah, I don't know. I think stock is a way to go with a secondary trim. Hood, you got the secondary, you got the twin hood divider. Smoothed hood. Oh, wow. So if you don't want the dip, you get stock. Okay. Different twin vents. Forged carbon. Okay. I do like the one with the divider like the trim hood divider I want to keep that black trim there um, lights let's do some xenons I love the headlights on this car I did a great job with that liveries you got white arrow stripes with literally an arrow going down <laughs> that's weird oh that's funny uh, you got the black version of that then you got the white contour with an arrow going the oh, actually both ways that is weird Black contour, the old school iconic, radiance, this interesting, beast 76 modular race, different race liveries, HSW, okay. Um, eh, I feel like I want the, my livery to be the secondary color, which is all the trim, kind of like the real one, so I'm going to skip that. Mirrors, you got stock, primary, secondary, carbon. Custom. Oh, look at that! They did the, the BMW M style mirrors, the ones that have the, the top section that curves. That's, that's pretty cool. I like that. Carbon and race. Okay. Um. Hmm. I like the black on the top. It goes with our hood and all that. So we'll do the custom. Plate. Uh. Throw this one on here. I don't think I have a good plate for this one because this is really it's a BMW and it's not full electric, it's hybrid. But I feel like this plate still works. <laughs> um, getting beat by what, what's ironic is the i8 is like really slow in real life, so this thing being HSW, it's, it's gonna be fast. So it's kind of funny that Rockstar did that an actually fast BMW. Uh, let me get to the front end. I hate it when HSW does that. In, in, in the LS car meet, it's weird when you try to customize cars because you get locked to the camera back here when you go to the plate area. Anyway, respray. So for this, I am going to go with the... Um, I, I kind of want to go with the ice, like the white and blue color combo. Um, but metals brushed aluminum looks super sick on this car as well. And then obviously any, any of the crazy chameleon colors. Um, secondary color is... Look at that, like the real car, the trim and the grill, the side, uh, all back here. I mean, that's so cool. That's fantastic. And the stitching in the interior. That is so cool. That's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to go with a blue for that, like the real car. But for here, I'm just a bit indecisive on doing white or the brushed aluminum. I think I kind of want to go with a white. The frost white actually looks a little better on this one. Let's do the frost white, and then I want to do a diamond blue pearl because I want that to transfer to our um, our secondary color. And secondary, we're gonna do. And this one, I'm not sure if we should do racing blue or ultra blue. I'm not sure which one's closer. That's racing blue, and that's ultra blue. I feel like the racing blue is closer. It's somewhere in between, honestly. I might have to do a custom color for that. Um, but I feel like the ultra blue definitely gives you that. That looks so cool, that white and blue. I love that. All right. Um, trim color is your interior color. So I definitely want this to be white. Did I just choose red? No, I don't want red. <laughs> I, want, I want white. Frost white? No, definitely ice white. That's sick. Love that. I wish it was a little bit more white. It looks kind of like slightly tan-ish. 
but the blue stitching looks really good against the white. Um, and it's kind of ironic, we finally have, this interior was introduced with the SM722, which is a Mercedes, but this interior is based on a BMW, so we finally, for the first time, have it in an actual BMW, which is nice. Um, anyway, Kremlin goes on the doors, nice. Roof, you do secondary, that is a little too much blue. Carbon, oh, the antenna, vortex generators, secondary, carbon with the antenna. Roof scoop, okay. Let's do the carbon with the antenna, I guess. But wait a minute, where's the, hmm. I feel like our hood should be carbon then to match the roof, and then we can still have the black contrast. And this is, what, this is why customization is the way it is, so you can experiment. Oh, there is no carbon hood option. Well, that's annoying. Huh. Well then. All right, um, we were in skirts now. So you got primary, secondary, carbon skirts, very subtle. Slipstream skirts, I like that. Street skirts, carbon, got the winged, I like that. The carbon wing, I think is probably the one I'm gonna go with. Whoa, <laughs> that's crazy, the canards there like that. Let's go with a carbon winged. Spoiler upgrades. Lip spoiler. Interesting. Like bridges that center area there. <clears throat> okay. Ducktail. You got a trim sport spoiler. GT wing is massive. Jeez, that's wild. Right, all the different crazy spoiler wings as usual. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm, I guess we'll put one of these. I feel like the duck tail, but the, the lip spoiler looks good too. But it's forced in black, and I don't like that contrast. Is that the same one? Oh, it's different. Okay. I guess I'll go with the duck tail, I suppose. Let's do that. Suspension. Yeah, we'll lower it. Transmission, turbo, that's really low. Oops. Stage three, there we go. Wheels. Now the stock wheels are nice, man. They even have the little bit of blue trim in the center. Um, I feel the diameter is a little bit too small, though. That's my only gripe with it. And like I talked about, the wheel fitment doesn't change, even if you do custom wheels. As you can see, are the same width, unfortunately. Um, but man, I feel like that little trim in the middle is nice. Um, wheel track options. These look really good too. We don't need the blue. The Forge Stars give it a nice look, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go with those. And the black, yep, 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 very nice. Windows, I'll do a little light smoke. And that's all the options there, all right. We'll go ahead and take it for a drive with HSW. I'm dying to see like how fast this is because the, again, the IA in real life is slow. So like, this is actually fast. The lights on this thing. Wow, all right, floor it. Oh yeah, oh yes. Gotta love HSW. Long gears, ooh, the brakes suck. <laughs> brakes are not good. Yeah, the brakes leave a little bit to be desired. First person, it's very, very, very fast though, as usual with HSW. The cameras though on this car, that's ridiculous. This is the closest one, which usually would be like the second one. And then here's the second, and then here's the third. <laughs> a little, so the cameras on this thing are a little bit broken, but I guess you go to the first one and it's fine. Jeez, okay, that's fast. Typical HSW. This thing is all wheel drive, so very easy to drive. And oh, traffic's going a little crazy. First person. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's fast. It's fast. 
I don't know if it's going to be able to compete with the La Cruz, though. I'm trying to see the handling here. It doesn't have that. Well, it does handle well. All wheel drive is ridiculous out of the corners. This might be up there, man. I want to say this is probably going to be like a direct competitor to the La Cruz. Probably like really close to it. I hope they're like evenly matched. That'd be nice because then you have two options to choose from at the top of the sports class. Yeah, that's what it feels like. I think I think they're definitely gonna be very close. This thing just shoots out of the corners though, man. That's impressive. That is properly fast. HSW it always always goes crazy. For those of you who don't know, by the way, I just want to mention this. HSW is only available on uh, current-gen consoles, which is PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S. Again, for those of you who don't know. Oh, I love a little chime. It's so cool. You got the door. It's like the Rio i8 as well. That looks... Look at how good that looks. Oh, my God. That's beautiful. <laughs> Let's turn on the, the car. We have the lights and stuff going here. Listen to that. A little chime. It... That's so cool. I love that. Um, all right, vehicle doors. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. This front compartment opens. Reveals, I guess, absolutely nothing. <laughs> all right, like the intake system. At least I did something there. What? This door, well, I think I closed it by accident. That was probably just me, right? Yeah, I think I closed it by accident. It's that delicate. Just walk by it and... Yeah, that was me. Love the butterfly door. It's just like the real one. And a BMW interior, finally, and an actual BMW. There's the engine model. Very nice. I genuinely like... I mean, it's a properly done i8. This is very, very well done. I genuinely really like it. Is it worth this much money with the HSW? Oh, that's a hard pill to swallow. I don't know. <laughs> that's a lot of money. I mean, you're over four million dollars on this car with upgrades. Like that's that's a lot. But then again, the new cop cars are like four million dollars. So I'd definitely rather have this than one of those cop cars. So something to think about. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.